Hello everyone, uh, it's Marcus again. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while, but the reason why I have my table cleared like this is because today I'm going to go over some things with you guys, especially if you're huge co coin collectors or even, or even um, paper money collectors for that reason. So today... What we're going to do is we're going to go over different kinds of bills that you can find and good dates to look for, as well as um, different things to consider when purchasing. Now remember, always, always double check where you buy your coins or paper money for because people have been scammed in the past, and I don't want that happening to anybody else. But I do shop with reputable antique dealers and coin dealers so with that being said everything that i'm here to show you today is stuff that was given to me from my grandfather and so on and so forth and this was stuff that i gathered throughout my um lifetime so uh but before we continue i just want to say um if you're new to my channel uh Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and leave any comments that you have about the video in the comment section below. Now, I will say this. I am going to try to do a mixed bag, so to speak, on this channel. I'm going to do different things. You're going to see me do coin videos, paper money videos like this one today. And then I'm going to do like some different top 10 lists. I want to keep things new. You're also going to see me in, uh, investigate abandoned buildings and stuff and to kind of reminisce on historical artifacts here in U.S. history because it's an important thing and we need to learn from that. So, like I said, don't forget to do that. Um, and on to the thing here. Now, our first item that I'm going to show today is a 1928 $2 bill red seal. Now, one thing that people don't forget, uh, one thing that people forget about these is that 1928 was the first year of the small paper money twos. And this was a, um, a a big thing because, you know, a lot of people didn't really trust in it. They think that there's a lot of bad juju involved with it. But I, on the other hand, love $2 bills, and they're one of my favorite denominations to collect. Now, obviously, on the 1928, the red seal is right here as opposed to over here. Now, I'm going to show you a slightly newer example and this is in terrific shape this like i said the bill that i sh have here is a 1928 series d the next bill that i'm about to show you is a 1953 series b and it's in terrific shape and i'm going to show you what i mean so you notice how the red seal is not here it's over here they did that and uh, I don't really know the particular reason. I I'm, I'm think somebody out there might know. And if so, please leave it in the comments below. But, um, but yeah, as you can see here, there it is. And if you look at this bill overall, it's in pretty good shape. And if you want to know what I mean, here are the two bills close to uh, close. To close. Um, the bottom is the 28. The top one is the 53. So with that being said, my next thing that I want to share with you is this. This is a 1934 Series C $10 bill silver certificate. Now, the silver certificates have blue seals. Um, and they made silver certificates in 1s, 5s, and 10s. Um, and this is a 10. Now, they also have a um, North Africa emergency silver certificate note, which is this here on the bottom, which is the one here on the bottom. And it had a yellow seal, as you can see right there. So, and also I've got two $5 bills here that you're going to look notice. The one on the top has the red seal. The one on the bottom has a green seal. This one's a 1950 A, and the top one is a 53 B. 
Now, the interesting thing to note is at the same time they made Federal Reserve notes and United States notes. There's a difference. The United States notes were notes that were printed by the individual states, whereas the Federal Reserve notes are printed by the Federal Reserve. Now, I'm sure there's more to it than that, but that's my understanding of how it is. And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. So, the Federal Reserve notes have the green seal. The United States notes have the red seal. That's how you can distinguish between the two. And they quit putting the red seal on bills in 1963, if I seem to recall. So, it was, so from whenever time they started doing the green seal all the way into to current... That's what you get is the green seal. Now, this, the shade of green has slightly varied over the years, due to, you know, for obvious reasons. But, you know, th th that's some other things. Now, before, one, one more thing I want to show you is the $1 bill show certificate has a normal one. And this one is also a silver certificate. But the reason why it has a brown seal is this is the Hawaii emergency. And if you can see right there, it says Hawaii right there and this was printed during world war ii to give relief to people in hawaii that's why it's called a hawaii emergency note um i want to and if you look on the back unlike the other silver certificates that have the blue seal like so at the top if you notice on the back of this one it's normal but if you look at this you can see the word hawaii overlapped on that so a lot of people don't realize that but you know it's a fascinating thing and if you're into coins i you know and, and collecting bills silver certificates are common um higher graded examples such as this one right here are, are worth more and uh, this is probably worth just as much as that one, even though this one's in worse shape only because it's the hawaii emergency ones and these ones are more sought after because they're rare um, and so, you know, you, you, you gotta know what you gotta look for and it's all the small things, um, you know, and there's different things. Now, one more thing I want to show you before I be, before I end here is before 19, I think it was, um, 1928, all U.S. paper money was large size like this. Okay, you see? And this is a $1 silver certificate from 1923. Now, just to put things into perspective, here's a smaller bill. Look at how much smaller that money is. And both of these are legal tender. So, again, this is expensive. The top one is expensive. It's hard to get. And, the, you know, so these are valuable notes. These ones are more common than these, but you can still find these. So, like I said, keep your eyes out because always check your change, always check your bank, and always check your coin dealer because you never know when they might have some of these in stock. So if you enjoyed this video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. I will post more videos like this whenever I can. And remember, remember, good luck. And I hope you find some goodies today. See ya.